Mary Beth Pierce. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having us at your beautiful oh, neighborhood. It's a pleasure to be here. Tell me all about Wingap. All about Wingap. Well, actually, you know, I've been here for 20 years and I'm still what you would consider a newcomer. Oh, really? Because of the people that come and stay here when my when my children went to went to grade school and that sort of thing we would meet the, their friend's parents and their friend's parents grew up here and their parents grew up here. Oh, okay, so you're so, new. Yeah, so we're considered a newcomer. But it, it is a nice neighborhood. And when we moved in here, the lady we bought the house from, she said, you know, it's Pittsburgh's best kept secret mm -hmm. because like we're right on the edge of the city and it has kind of a suburban feel to it. And there's be the nice ball field behind mm -hmm. us and um, people know each other. There's a lot of community feel to it. Like I know my neighbors and, you know, we exchange gifts at the, the holidays and Aww. we look out for each other and, and things like that. So, so you got a real community feeling. I, I, yeah, I, I get that feeling. Like that. Yes. Cause I, I'm a suburban girl. So for me, moving into the quote city was a little bit different, but I, I really enjoy, it. I'm still here 20 years later. My, my kids have grown up here and, you know, they've gone off to school and they're both successful and beautiful. So beautiful if there was something you wanted to change or or add to or you know what would you what would I don't know be? if I would keep it specific to wind gap I would put it more towards the city I think a big deterrent is the, the Pittsburgh the wage tax ah um, makes it very difficult it, it does it does own. and people see that in you know other communities in the suburbs they're like one percent here it's the three point whatever it is so that's one thing I would change um, there's not much else I, I think I would change I think in the city I wish the houses would hold their value a little bit better. Yes. There does seem to be a, a, dep a depreciation rather than appreciation right, and being right. your greatest asset. You know, you want to buy your house and know in 20 years when you go to sell. That it did devalue. Yes, and, yes. Uh, absolutely. So that is an issue. But one thing about it, like my, my, my house, I'm on a flat street. I'm on a double flat lot. And it, so it's very nice. You don't find that in a lot of neighborhoods around here no. you don't you find look around, the space you... between houses like you have here. right you actually have space right like when i first moved here from oklahoma i was just shocked how close houses are mm -hmm. but here you actually have space you between do have us. space here yeah. too yeah yeah and it's so green so yeah it's very nice what's, what's kind of ironic about this location where we're sitting here this flower bed back here i'll be putting in in the next couple of weeks oh, it's i met beautiful. with one of the councilmen <laughs> she, she had started it last week last year and i said well you know I'll take it over. So I put in my order for my flowers and everything when I want it, and that will be coming in. So I thought that was kind of ironic that we're sitting here right in front of, <laughs> in a few bed. weeks or months, it's going to be beautiful behind <laughs> us, I hope. Well, actually, it's beautiful now. <laughs> so where do you see Wind get Gap in 25 years? What do you think it's going to look like? Like I said, I, I think it's pretty much going to pretty much going to stay the same. I don't really see, um, like, as far as, like, the houses coming down or anything like that. What would be nice to see, though, would be some more, maybe some more shops. Ah. Um, we used to have down at the corner, there was a, um, it was a beer distributor, but it also had like the snacks and stuff. And it was a nice place for people to just meet. meet. Yeah. You know, we had a, an older gentleman that lived over here and he was kind of like the community watchdog. Right, right, right. But we do need some more stores like that. We, we like need coffee some coffee shops. Yeah. A, maybe. a coffee shop or um, a gas station. Mm -hmm. I mean, we are close though to everything here. I mean, you can go one direction and go down to Crafton Ingram, okay. the Keys Rocks, Kennedy Township. Um, so we're close to, we are close to places that have these things. Right, right, right. So, but maybe this is what might consider it more like a bedroom community where people just uh, live here. Right. And then they leave to go out. Yeah. They do their shopping right. and that, that kind of thing here. Cause that's the way it's always been. But other than that, I don't see, I don't see, I don't see the too much difference. Changes. Right. Right. Well, do, um, if there was a uh, neighborhood in Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. that you see something that you like about it or something that inspires you about that neighborhood, what neighborhood would that be and why? You know, I really don't know because I've really never like lived in other neighborhoods. Right. I mean, you have the the you know, eclectic thing like in um, the, down on the south side. Right, right, you know, right. You have that. You have the strip district, which is kind of another neat part of town, but people don't really live there, even though I think more of your... Your single higher income people may, might be moving into those areas, those trendy areas. Um, I'd like to maybe have the reputation that maybe a Squirrel Hill or a Shady right. Side has, have that kind of a reputation. Old standing thing, mm, yeah. Yeah, that, that kind of thing. But other than that, like I said, this is as close to suburbia, I think, as you're going to get right, right. being here. So And it has its own charm. It does. It doesn't need to copy it anybody. It does. It does. And one thing I like about it, too, it has a good mix of black and white people, too. Right. And good diversity. Yeah, there's a good diversity. Um, 
so I think that's nice. I like my kids to be able to grow up with with people of other yeah. races. Yeah. I wanted them to do that, and so it, it's good. And the crime is the crime is low here, yeah. considering you hear some of the city neighborhoods where you hear it's just terrible. Here we really don't I have. Think, any I think crime. that's why we don't, most people don't know about you because we don't hear. We don't about hear crime. about us. Yeah, I mean, and as, actually, since we've had this interview, the police have driven by here twice have they yes. yeah yeah i was thinking just sitting here listening do you think what? wow that's nice yeah it is nice yeah and I, it is I, nice i kind of wish we they kind of went back to that community that the walking beat thing uh -huh. i don't i guess they don't do too much of that anymore mm -hmm. um i'm not sure why but yeah we have we see and you know they, they keep themselves um visible visible but not intrusive great because you know, some people get a little bit like put off like well you know what do you, huh? Yeah, yeah, that kind but, of thing. But they aren't intrusive. They're just very visible. Yes. I think that's wonderful. And it tells me, like, you, um, uh, we were talking to another person. They were saying that you can actually walk your dog in this neighborhood and just, you know, just kind of walk around you, safe. You, you pretty much can, yes. Yes. We like did have that. an incident the other day, though. Did where, you? Yeah, we, and we, yeah, my daughter has a little a little dog, and we were walking. I mean, we were, like, attacked by a pit bull. Yeah. But we called the police. They came. They found out who it was and everything. This is the only time that's ever happened. Right, right. So until that time, yeah, I would agree with that. But it's just you have to be vigilant. You just right. have to. But this is just one of those incidents that happened. Mm -hmm. And, you know, thank goodness we were it's safe. Your dog, baby. Is a baby dog okay? Yeah, we were more scared than that. We had we had to drop the dog over. A, 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 there was a house that happened to have a chain link fence. We dropped the dog over the fence. And then I went in to pull the dog back. And then my daughter scaled the fence. And then yeah. we went and we were pounded on their door to let us in. Because you had an adventure. The, the dog, yeah, the dog was like, it was circling. Wow. Um, so, yeah, we were, yeah. That was the only thing, though. So that's not bad. Um, also, too, here, they do, I think they have um, an athletic association down here. Now, when my kids were growing up, we went to the, of course, Elliott West End Athletic Association. They have a wonderful athletic association up there for the softball and and baseball and I guess they do soccer and a real dedicated group of parents and stuff that, that run that and I do think they are starting something they have something down Excellent. here too Excellent. so that's nice too so, yes. so there's stuff for seniors there's stuff for that middle stuff right, going right. on and now there's stuff for the babies right. yeah, at the end of my street there is the that Winchar Senior Center uh -huh. and um, they have their meetings there and Mary Beth so, you have a beautiful community I mm -hmm. want to thank you for thank having you. us here thank you so much it was much. my pleasure I really enjoyed talking to you yeah, I did same here. Yeah. <laughs>